Swiss Army triplets and single flam mills. I was throwing those into that groove so you can create all kinds of cool things with your rudiments. That might have sounded something like Dave Garibaldi. He knows his rudiments. He uses that sort of thing in his playing all the time. The Swiss Army triplet and the single flam mill are very similar. The single flam mill is basically a Swiss Army triplet with an extra 16th note on the end of it. Both of these rudiments are very similar to the flam tap. A Swiss Army triplet is a flam tap with an extra note. Okay, now, but the Swiss Army triplet, because of the sticking, can, can, when played consecutively, is played starting with the same hand. And the single flam mill, because it has that extra tap, is going to alternate. The trick here is to play the diddle without playing it too hard and, and using the right amount of pressure and finessing the diddle in. Don't play it too hard or the second note of the diddle doesn't have a chance. I like to think of Swiss Army triplets when I play them on the right hand as both rights being accented and keeping my left hand low. So the right hand is doing this. And the left hand is doing this. Together I have this. I'll start on the left hand, so everything is reversed. That's your Swiss Army triplet. The single flam mill is the same thing, but I'm going to add an extra note. So I have the first three notes, and then I add a sixteenth note. So the single flam mill is in a duple feel, and the Swiss Army triplet is in a triple feel. Here is a single flam mill. The single flam mill being hand to hand requires you to think of it each time. So you're, it's a little more difficult than the, than the Swiss Army triplet. Once again, notice that the diddle, I'm playing high and everything, I'm keep, uh, everything else I'm keeping low. Both of these rudiments are what I call bounce rudiments. There's no controlled stroke. It's just somewhat of a controlled bounce, but you use your fingers and wrists to do this. I'm going to play a, a little etude. I'm going to play four Swiss Army triplets and one flam mill. That way it, the flam mill will put me, throw me off to my left hand and I'll do the same thing. Four Swiss Army triplets, one flam mill. I'm going to start slow and then speed up. And watch my fingers. Watch how the, the diddle is, actually the heights are going to become, become lower as I get faster. And watch how I work the diddle. I'm not slamming those accents down, but more of a finesse. So when working on these rudiments, work on the spacing of the grace note. I mean, from the very get-go, working on flams. With the spacing of the grace note as you get faster, you don't want any flat flams or any pop flams. That's not correct rudiment, and it's a pretty nasty sound. So get good flams. You can play them a little wider, a little closer. There's different ways to interpret it, but not flat. As you can see, this rudiment kind of swings. It's got a real relaxed feel to it. It's a bounce rudiment, and it kind of swings, which brings us to why this rudiment really works well with swing or a shuffle. You know, I've heard Tony Williams use the Swiss Army triplet many, many times, and other um, all great jazz drummers. So I'm going to try to play a little shuffle here and incorporate Swiss Army triplet and even the single flam mill. Now 
Now, using rudiments in a drum set situation is cool, but you don't have to force the rudiment into your playing. Every now and then, I see the rudiments, they come out. I don't actually think about playing them. They just kind of happen. What's more important is the technique that we use to play the rudiments, the, the good upstroke, the controlled stroke, the rebound stroke, those strokes to be used on drum set is very important and on any given instrument. The rudiments themselves, as Charlie Parker said about theory, is learn it so you forget them. In other words, know them so well that you might use them here and there, but you don't want to try and force them into a situation. So now take it, take your technique and your rudiments and be creative. Thank you.